All right, we are gonna install our three-in-one car seat forward facing. We're gonna use the seat belt, but even though we use the seat belt, we're also gonna use our top tether, so we can't forget about our top tether. Um, when you first put your car in your vehicle, you wanna make sure that it is seated all the way up. So I should be able to see the red number one right here. And when I see that, I know that it's in the right um, angle for, for forward facing. Um, now I have my lower anchors just hanging right now and I'm not gonna use them. So we need to make sure that we store them to the car seat. And if you remember, they store underneath the sides. So I'm gonna store them so that they're not flying around. Now I'm gonna set this seat in and put my top tether over the back of my vehicle seat. And I will show you that in my car, my owner's manual tells me to go under my headrest. And it also tells me to remove my headrest. Now, not all vehicles say to do it like that, but all vehicle owner manuals do tell you how you should do it. So be careful that, um, you know, just make sure whatever car you're using that we're checking the owner's manual and I will help you with that when we um, install it. But we wanna make sure we're doing it correctly as the vehicle tells us to do. So I'm gonna throw that over the top, put my seat back, and now I'm gonna put my seat belt through. Now you've got a hole here and you also have a hole down here. This one we don't have to um, show on the camera, but there is a hole here and that's the belt path if your child is rear facing. This is the belt path if your child is forward facing. So we're gonna put the seat belt through here. It's really important that we don't get that wrong. That could be dangerous. When we put our seat belt through, we wanna make sure that it's not twisted. Keep it as straight as you can. Buckle it in and take out that slack. And I'm just making sure that it's not twisted. Okay. Now some people say they're done and there's an important step that most families miss. Most families that I work with, they miss. So I'll teach you that. We have to lock our seatbelt. If you can pull your seatbelt out like this, it's not locked. The way that you lock your seatbelt is you pull it all the way out, slow, don't yank or pull fast, then let it go back in. Um, it should maybe do a clicking noise or a ratcheting noise. That's good. That's how you know that you did it right. And now it's locked, it won't come out. Um, to check the tightness of my seat, a lot of people do this, but we want you to start doing this because you always want to test your um, tightness at your belt path, and your belt path is back here. Your belt, your seat belt is not up here, it's back here. So check it here, or you can just stand on one side and check it like this. But my car seat is moving a lot. We don't want it to move more than an inch, so I've got to tighten it. And when I tighten it, I do a push-pull thing where I pull with my hand on the seat belt, and I push with my other hand on the car seat. I don't pull up, I do it straight towards me. So that's what I'm gonna do to tighten this in. Or you can just put two hands on the seat belt and pull with all your body weight and get that excess back up in here. That's what's gonna make it really tight. And now when I test my tightness, it's not moving more than an inch at the belt path. So we can't forget about our top tether. We're gonna go, camera's gonna go to the back. All right. So in my car, my top tether goes right here. And in some cars, it's different. So we'll, um, when we do your installation, we'll find out where it is in your car. Um, but then I'm gonna tighten it and make sure that this is not twisted. If I do this, it should not pull very much. So we've got a locked seat belt. It's nice and tight. And this is nice and tight and not twisted. So we're good to go.